Hello everyone, I'm Prateek. So guys, I'm making this video uh, just to answer many queries coming related to uh, the rank and what kind of score we're going to get because the official keys are out and uh, now people know exactly the marks they are scoring. So they just want to know what they can expect and then they can proceed accordingly. Uh, MTech, MS or uh, MTech in NITs and uh, various options. So the uh, the only reason of preparing this uh, is because I have seen many videos uh, predicting the rank and the maximum marks for first rank and the second rank, which I felt was not up to the mark. So I felt I should prepare this video and communicate the correct uh, information because I have few numbers which uh, back this uh, prediction. So I will not going to spend much time in analysis of the question paper because uh, this all of you know you have appeared for the exam so you know what are the number of questions asked what is the weightage what is the marks but still just to give an idea i have briefed it down how many questions are asked from each topic so you know the weightage of each subject was very very uh, properly distributed across uh, these uh, seven subjects all right including maths and aptitude the only reason of marking this right hand side block uh, MCQ, MSQ and numerical answer type. So guys, uh, people are saying from first day that this paper was super easy. Uh, I agree. Questions were very, uh, I can say low standard compared to the previous years, but they have 20, uh, 47 marks of MCQ. And don't forget that MCQ marks are always not in the positive side. They will give you the negative marks also. This is one point and second MSQs. So you feel that you have uh, the MSQs was slightly trickier. Like I should not say they are difficult. They are very easy. Uh, if you know the theory back inside and out, if you have read it properly, if your basics are clear, but still at least we don't get negative, but it is also difficult to get positive marks. So I agree paper was easy, but it is not like people will score 100 out of 100. That It doesn't work like this. So I'm not going to spend much time here because this is not the intent of preparing this video. Most of you already know what is the weightage, what is the marks. Now I want to go to a very specific thing about the rank prediction. All right, so now the corresponding rank, marks and score. So first I have seen so many videos predicting for score of 75 plus minus, 80 plus minus, no. We already at Goodwill have two people who are scoring more than 80. All right, so definitely it is 80 plus. It can, according to my prediction, and I will come back to these predictions when the actual results are out. My predictions are 86 plus minus one. So it can be 85 or it can be 87. This will be your first rank in 2024. All right, with a score of 1000. I'm, I'm making this uh, prediction because I already have these marks. So definitely no to any 75 or 80. It is 85. I'm just to be on the safer side saying 85 or it can be 87 or maybe there is some other person who is scoring maybe more one or two marks. I'm not predicting that. I'm just predicting with the numbers which I have uh, with my students. Then second will definitely, I'm damn sure, will go till 80. Now, this is the reason I have written 78 plus because I'm marking 225 rank. All right. But second rank will also be in 80s, guys. I am again telling you, I have these numbers with me, with the official keys. We have matched everything, all positive, negative. So your first AIR first and AIR second will both be in 80s for sure. There is no uh, denying that. Now, the question comes, what happens to the score after this definitely when your rank one scores a very high marks with the accuracy and uh, very less negative marks then the score get affected with the corresponding ranks right this is this 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 is bound to happen so typically when someone says uh, when a new person join or uh, when the person starts preparing the main main, main question is sir to get mtech how much i should score what is my target so typically all the time when you start from 2007 and you come to 2024 on an average 50 marks 
on an average, I'm saying it, it has not happened every year. 50 marks, I typically say you are in top 100. That's what the typical, uh, I can say, average of every year, starting from 2007 till 2024. But because this time paper was very easy, super easy. So if anyone who was scoring somewhere around 40 in their pre-gate exams, in their full mock exams, in the test series, which I have seen. So I've seen people adding 10 to it. So I have seen the person who was scoring 75 has scored 85. Similarly, I have added some marks here. So typically you can expect that till 100 rank, if you are, if your marks are between, uh, is somewhere around 55, you are definitely in top 100 guys. And ideally speaking, till top 100, we are good to go with uh, top four IITs MTech. We need not to worry about MS or we need not to worry about uh, MTech or MS programs in other uh, institutes. All right, so this is straightforward, but that doesn't mean that if you are getting 45 or you are getting around 40, that you're not going to get admission because that altogether is a separate topic. I'm not going to introduce that topic here because that need to be discussed in great, great detail. Uh, what things we should explore once we have our marks, what are all options are available, what are good options available. And also I, I always say from first uh, lecture from my first video that you are not only preparing for GATE to get good marks and get into IITs and ISC. You are, you are upskilling yourself, you are preparing yourself for the coming uh, jobs you want to prepare. So definitely with these 40 and 45 marks, 45 plus marks, you have a good score. You have a good marks to show in your resume. You can always go for jobs as well, which is, I, as I told, altogether a different uh, topic for discussion, which I'm not doing it now. But we will go into further discussions of MS, of uh, IIST, Diet Pune, and NITs, MTech, and different streams. All these things will enter into detail. But the only reason of preparing this short video is to tell you to make it very clear please don't just blindedly get the information from any source uh, assuming that this is what the best uh, for this year no i already at goodwill have two people in 80s so definitely you're not expecting anything somewhere around 75 plus minus or even 80 plus minus for first rank second rank and first rank both should be in mid 80s guys all right. So I hope this helps keeping this in mind. So keep your, op op uh, keep your options open. Try to analyze the situation, wait till your results are out. And then we will going to discuss in detail. What are the next steps? How are we going to proceed forward in filling the forms for your MTech, for your MS? What should be your priority? Should I go for IIT Mumbai structures or should I go for IIT Mumbai propulsion? How should I fill my options, my priorities? Depending upon that, you're going to get the admissions. Uh, when the MS forms are out, how you're going to fill the MS forms and, um, and various other options. All right, so I don't want to stretch this for one hour. I just want to keep it short so that I can pass the information correctly. And uh, just a final note, we have already opened our admissions for 2025 patch. And uh, as you know, you have entire options of live classes, video lecture series, online test series, study material, and you can uh, choose any combination. So you can only go for videos and material. You can only go for live classes, videos. This is the complete package which I have shown here. So I hope uh, you got the information. So just think about this, see your marks. If you have any further doubts or you want to get it very, very much clear, just WhatsApp me on the number. I have mentioned it here. You can directly, this is my uh, WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me on this number. Otherwise you can WhatsApp or call on any number, whichever you feel, but I'm available on this. Hopefully this will help you and I will see you in next video and I will definitely see you on uh, 16th of March. Once the results are out, uh, how our predictions uh, align with the actual result. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.